Oof does affect everyone. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Dave. A hype train is close. I've been alerted. Three minutes out. Sub, gift, or use bits now to start a hype train. Dave Kaplan gifted another sub. 19 total for Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. R. Jorgensen says, really appreciate you. Mostly only get to catch the YouTube videos, but legacy content is the best. I hope it never goes away. You're very welcome. And thank you for, for uh, keeping up with us, even though you're only able to catch us later on YouTube. Appreciate that even more. Thank you for the 500 bits. R. Jorgensen just cheered 500. Thank you, thank you. Hive train is close. Four minutes out now. Looks like we need... What do we need? Uh... I don't know. Luanel, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> choo choo. Yeah, a hype train has just started. We are in a hype train. Here we go. You'll have a limited time to learn exclusive emotes, it says. Dave Kaplan with the 20th gift sub. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> this hype train is going crazy. All right, I guess people are liking all the painter. Oh, looks like uh, a hand was flashed on the screen. I'm not sure what that was. Ingenious Smith on the battlefield, try, trying to do play-by-play -play here. Everybody who watches this channel knows if I don't do in-depth analysis of every game action taking in every game, some people who watch this later on YouTube get really upset. Just so everybody's aware. They get really, really upset. You're good, Spike Pack TV. Spike Pack TV with a badge, regardless. Dave Kaplan and Luanil MTG are on pace to be high train conductors. This is really exciting for them and for everybody that will be praising their hype train conductor status if they get it. Three minutes left on the hype train. We're in level two, it says. And we are watching that very carefully. Portable hole is the play. So I just want to take a second here to, to um, compliment this mono white uh, build from Eddie is so spicy, has all kinds of wacky cards in it that we don't usually see. And props to Eddie for making this deck work. Um, it, it really is a thing of beauty. I think the backstory on it too, if I remember correctly, is that Eddie submitted this deck list to Thraben University as a donation deck list. Um, Phil Gallagher of Thraben University then uh, played with it in a, in a Magic Online league for for the ch for the Thraben University channel, and um, that led to Eddie finishing the deck in paper. Maybe I have some details wrong on that, but I think that's what happened. Dave Kaplan, thank you for another gift sub. Twenty-one gift subs for Dave Kaplan. I really appreciate it, Dave. 22. Make it 22. Another gift sub for Kaplan. Confetti is falling in chat right now. Confetti. And I've been alerted that there is a lot of hype. And level 2 is complete. So Phil Gallagher 5-0'd with this list. Eddie, Eddie the intern in chat is uh, filling us in. Okay, so Ingenious Smith with a Plumbus on counter and Portable Hole exiled Mox Diamond. I'll play any Counter? Sure. I'll pass Perexian Revoker. Okay. I'll name Elvish Reclaimer. Sure. I will attack you for three. Okay. Ingenious Smith only gets a Plumbus on counter for the first artifact of the turn. I'm, I'm just... I just know someone's going to comment on this, so I'm, I'm just pointing that out. 
Dave Kaplan says popping bottles at the club. Yeah, that's what it feels like. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. And I'm, I'm sure everybody watching does as well. Has the list changed since the three been you vid? That's a good that's a good question. And for anybody that has, you know, deck building uh thoughts and wants to share their deck lists and for feedback and all that fun stuff, be sure to join our Discord if you haven't already. We have an awesome community in our Discord talking about all things magic and um um it would be awesome if you would join us in there. We're all, we're all having a good time. Okay. Outland Liberator on the field now for for Eric. Outland Liberator could potentially hit Revoker here or Hole. I don't think it's necessarily right to go for Ancient Den at the moment as the board looks right now. But we will see. There's a Wasteland taking out Wasteland. And Ethersworn, Ethersworn Canonist. And attacking for four. Pretty good. Waste the waste to protect Saga next turn. That makes sense. Elvish Reclaimer for Eric. Shut off by Revoker. Okay, so Ethersworn Canonist has a portable hole under it that is not attached to it in any way, just a little sloppiness on the board, but it's all good. Just so everybody watching understands what's going on. And here is Fiddlebender for Eddie. I like those D and D um, throwback D and D showcase cards. They look great. They look really. I don't know. They speak to me. Prismatic Ending hits Oswald, which is actually exiled. Wait a second. Was that an instant speed Prismatic Ending? What's going on here? Can I read the other side? Sure. Thanks. It's a I know it's like when it attacks. Okay. This will get a counter. Yep. I'll drop a turn. It's supposed to happen before I get the counter. But okay. I'll play Wasteland. Yeah, I will tap an Ancient Den for a Mother of Runes. Okay. I will. Make some room. <laughs> I'll make a construct. Okay. Move right now. It is a one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay. And this will give this a counter. Sure. So I five now. High train complete at level three. Six gift subs, six hundred bits. Thank you, everybody. That was an awesome hype train. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Hype Train Conductors, Lou and Il, MTG, and Dave Kaplan. Congratulations on your Hype Train Conductor badges. I see Lou and Il has them in chat now. Lou and Il says, I need both these deck lists. Eddie and Eric. Well, I know Eddie's watching. Eddie will, Eddie will post it in the Discord. There we go. Luanil knows a thing or two about mono white decks. I'll, t <laughs> I'll tell you that. Maybe you can compare notes. Hmm. 
still getting used to Paper Legacy. Fair enough. Well, not again. I've only been playing Paper Legacy for like a month. <laughs> Okay, there's the swords to plowshares correctly placed into the yard. It looks like there was an error before prismatic ending was put in the graveyard instead of swords to plowshares. And now everything has been corrected and everybody's happy and everybody's fully understanding what the heck is going on. Prismatic ending now hits Mother of Runes. The original swords to plowshares text in the playtest version said... Um, Target creature takes up farming is removed from the game entirely. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. The Outland Liberator's other side that I don't know what the name is attacks and uh, hit a construct. And then it sacks to blow up Urza Saga. Cast Deep Ignorant Cannon Mist? Counter? Yep. Just a 6 6. Yep. Uh, and I'll pass. Actually, oh, never mind. No, go. I missed my choice. Not sure what happened there, but that's okay. Feels like killing this revoker was worth it somewhere, says Luanil. Yeah, it, it felt higher priority earlier in the game for sure. I Ganjo Castle on the board for uh, Eddie. Prevents two damage to legendaries. Hull Breacher. My ponders. <laughs> Not a real bear. But I know they didn't have that many versions of the game. Fast you. Inner servant. Sure. Counter? Yep. 7-7, seven, seven, I'll attack with the 7-7. Seven, seven. What are you naming for? Oh, black. Black. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That thing is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yep. Checking for seven. And, uh, legendary, that thing's tapped. Block with all three of these. Okay. I'll kill Hull Breacher and a Reclaimer. Okay. Good. And a turn, endurance. Okay. I am going to uh, target nobody. Keep okay. This one. Okay. Endurance target nobody. I don't know if there's any danger to allowing Eddie to keep cards in the graveyard. Actually, I think Eddie has Crucible of Worlds in the deck, so. But you wouldn't know that if you hadn't played against this deck before. I don't know. Cracking Misty. Let's see what Eric finds here. Trop. Savannah. Here's an Oswald, it looks like. Sure. End of your turn. So Swords, I am Oswald. The the tender. Tender. Actually, mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah. Change, I'm gonna, not going to target that. Okay. Uh, Swords of the Revoker. Sure. And I'm going to pay the tax on the Esper Sentinel. Okay, I'll gain two life. I am going to okay. pay pay uh, one well, red yeah. and another one. End of turn. And, okay. uh, play a burning wish. Attack that. Priority. Mm -hmm. I'm going to discard my hand and get a three blue. Sure. So this was to the side. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Three more. Four. 
So a crop rotation via reclaimer for Caracas. Spypack TV says, so I have a really spicy reanimator deck in Popper that has the ability and pretty consistently, if I may add, to put a turn one Ulamog's Crusher with Dragon Brush attached to give it haste. Crusher is 8 8 Annihilator 2. That sounds dangerous. We may we may have to submit that as a to Wizards as a report. The popper format might be in trouble. Spike Pack TV broke it. I see. Uh, watch out, popper people. Yeah, you want to just keep playing it as though you uh, didn't discard your hand yet. Hey. I'm a painter like, servant. Like, like we Draw just board the hand, hand, but if you sure. want to keep playing it. Hmm? Like, I could play the win, but okay. do you want to play it out if you had done it? Before? All right, Maze of Ith comes down. Interesting. There's Saga for Eddie. Spy pack, feel free to share your deck list in our Discord. We only have um, links enabled in Twitch chat for subs at the moment. Sacrifice it. Okay. Uh oh. Wow. Okay. Eddie gets game one. I don't like seeing that depth get me to be done. Kind of expected it, I guess. There was a lot on the board. That's not one I would like to steal. Yeah, yeah. It's probably worth more than my deck. Very nice. We may have to jump over to the uh Discord after this round ends. I see some posts in our mail day section on Discord that we may have to reveal to everybody. All right, players getting ready here for game two. All right, Spike Pack TV's decklist is posted in the Popper Discord channel of our server. If you have not yet joined our server, exclamation point, Discord in chat to join, come join us on there. If you are not yet a 90s MTG member, there are three ways to become a member. Number one, if you're watching live on Twitch, you become a Twitch sub. Completely free with Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you have one free Twitch sub per month. You can use it right here and support the channel. YouTube membership. If you're watching later on YouTube, hit the join button below. Get access to a whole bunch of perks on our YouTube channel. Or you can use our coffee link, similar to Patreon. I just shared that link in chat. Hit the coffee link. You can make a one-time donation or you become a monthly member on there as well. All three methods of membership allow full access on the 90s MGG community Discord. So that's a plug on that. Stress Daddy, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Stress Daddy. Okay, Vile on the board here for Eddie. Interesting. And Sylvan Library. This is quite a deck list. 
Hello, Carador. And hello, Stress Addy. Thank you again. And here's Oswald Fiddlebender again. Sylvan Library on the board for Eric. Fiscal Cliff, thank you for the resale with Prime. Three months for Fiscal Cliff. Bend that fiddle. Fiddle bender is, is prepared to. Thank you, Fiscal Cliff. Fiscal Cliff, quite an ominous username. <laughs> Fiscal Cliff, are we in trouble? <laughs> are we in trouble? I don't know. In case anybody missed the beginning of the stream, I announced we will be uh, going back to strictly webcam play for at least the next two weeks. Our LGS is suspending events for at least two weeks due to uh, the Omicron being a little crazy in New York City at the moment where we're all located. So next week we'll have some webcam streams. Some people that were in our chat earlier were requesting tribal wars. If you'd be interested in tribal wars, we, we, we might do a stream with that. I was thinking about maybe trying some vintage. If you think we should try some vintage, let me know, send me messages, send me comments. If you want to see some vintage. Um, but yeah, we, we're, I, I have some plans for cool things we could possibly do next week as far as webcam streams are concerned. And tomorrow the Arena Cube comes out on MTG Arena. And I was asking earlier in the stream if, if, um, if people would be interested if I did a, a Cube stream. People see, some people seemed into it. Some people said it was whack. If you think it's cool, say you think it's cool. If you think it's whack, say you think it's whack. We'll see. I'm still unsure. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to play regardless. But uh, I figured maybe it would be fun to stream some Cube. The Arena Cube. Some people were cute, confused earlier. It's not the MTGO Vintage Cube. It's the Arena Cube. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Fiscal Cliff says Cube Stream sounds like a blast. All right, m maybe we'll do it. Bertram says that's wacky, but also cool. <laughs> I don't even, I don't know what to make of that feedback. All right, Painter on the board here. Despian stage on the board. So both players have one side of a combo. Here's Prismatic Ending, hitting Painter's Servant. It's pretty good. Carador says, what is Tribal Wars? Tribal Wars is Legacy Ban List, plus a few other cards. 60 card, uh, I mean, sorry. 20 cards in your deck must be of the si must share a creature type. And no sideboards. Plague Engineer is banned. Engineered Plague is banned. A couple other cards like that. But it is a wild format. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. We've done it on stream a couple of times before, and it was always a hit. Bird Tribal, let's go. I actually had a Bird Tribal deck. I'm not even kidding. And it was, it was decent. Sounds like time for Goblins. Alan Delvers Go says Elves OP. Yeah, El Elves and Eldrazi were the decks to beat in that format the last time we did it. Especially Elves. We may need to update the ban list. We'll see. Yeah, mine was mine was blue black birds with Death's Head Buzzard, Bone. 
picker and a couple other wacky birds. All right, Eddie's coming up with Travel Wars decks too. No, we didn't have slivers. Honestly, I got I got like hate mail that we <laughs> that we didn't have slivers on our Tribal War stream. Some people were upset about that. So I know for a fact we didn't have slivers. Okay, cards are being pushed off the board. Island Devergo says I can put it together for a stream. All right, we may see some slivers then. All right, we, we may make this Tribal War stream happen, everybody. We're going to keep everybody posted on that. Going on to... It won't be this week. It'll, it'll probably be next week. If you're watching this later on YouTube, it probably happened already. <laughs> there's quite a delay. If, you, if you're watching on YouTube, there's a little bit of a delay between when these live streams happen and when they're released publicly on YouTube. If you'd like to skip over and see the newest stuff right away, hit the join button below. Everything's, everything's there waiting for you. Lots of extra stuff to look at. All right. Looks like a whole bunch of crap is on the board here for Eddie and not much going on for Eric. Two painters, a grindstone, mother of runes, Oswald Fiddlebender, a saga with a counter on it, and Sylvan Library trigger happening for Eric, and it's looking a little sad at the moment. <laughs> Needs to do something about this grindstone now. But even then, Oswald Fiddlebender might be able to make it, make it a combo kill. Let's see. He just won. Mystic Gate? Yeah, it's insane. But you kind of need it. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. It just pisses me off. They just reprinted it, too, and that only made the price go up because people realized it was good. Yeah. Yeah, the reprints still be off. All right, people are complaining about reprints. <laughs> Wasteland hits Saga. All right, that shuts off the mana needed to activate the the uh, grindstone, which is something. And here is Reclaimer. No prismatic ending for the grindstone. Eddie draws. Needs a mana to win with the combo. Attacking with Oswald and Painter. Oh, no, activating Oswald, sacrificing Painter. My mistake. Fiddlebender tutoring now. Let's see. Crucible. Yep, there's the Crucible. Saga comes back. It's pretty good. Now has enough mana again. Source to Plowshares. <laughs> Uh, Source of Plashers tried to hit the other painter, but it was protected by Mom. Sylvan Library for Eric. Needs a way to stop the combo. Mother of Runes is shut off, so it could potentially hit Painter Servant. Let's see. During the week, and then put it off for yeah. all the magic stuff back in again. So, there's been several times I'm like walking yeah. here because I, I was walking this and Okay, hearing myself in the background is distracting. Elvish Reclaimer. Can Elvish Reclaimer fetch anything relevant here? I don't think so. I guess a wasteland. But Crucible makes that useless. Yeah. I don't know. All right, source to plowshares. Source to plowshares took out the painter, and now Eric is somewhat safe. Uh, 
play another two grade <laughs> this is already out of control. Play it another month. Okay. Probably should do this one. I will pass the turn. We still we still mad. We just couldn't get it. Yeah, this crucible and saga looks like it should be illegal. I agree. It's a little gross. I think, um, well, actually, uh, if you're curious about the deck list and you just joined us, Eddie, the intern in chat, said they're going to share it in, in, um, in the Discord later. Um, Yeah, there, there may not be a better land to, to play from Graveyard right now other than Urza's Saga. Here's Dark Depths for Eric. Still a little late for the combo, I guess. Oh, well, does he have time to pull it off? Let's see. Oh, he does, he does have time to pull it off. Never mind. All right, so we might be able to make a Marit Lich here. Let's see. Eddie could potentially activate Grindstone at some point. To try to get Wasteland into the yard. Oh, but then he'd be at, he'd have to play it. Never mind. I take all that back. Okay, activate tapping three to make a construct. There's a Pokemon card. Okay, sagas are ticking up. Looks like Plains and Oswald are in hand for Eddie. Sacking the saga. Oh no. Is what's going to ha is Something going to happen that I think is going to happen? Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Going to find Pithing Needle, naming Thespian State. Um, that's the guy who goes to like first. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> and replays the saga. Oh, dear. Sorry you have to suffer through this, everybody. Hope of giver per. <laughs> uh. Okay. And I will get uh, an Ether Sworn like cast, which I should have done before combat to get another Ether Sworn Cannonist comes down. Doc Lobster, thanks for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> Information. <laughs> but, uh, are there already four gone? gone? There's three gone. They just fucking ripping on him. He's like, get the fuck. Yep. Uh, I, I, I Could have had a mirror retriever. Alan Delvergo says, I actually have a couple of apostles' blessings in my depths, maybe board. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Couldn't get the last painter. Seems fine. I think also for those uh, that might be curious, this mono white painter deck has no reserve list cards in it, as far as I know. 
which is which is something. So Needle is on Thespian stage. Thespian stage now sacrificed. And Eric is in big trouble. There are magnetons, that's true. There are magnetons. Oh, what happened here? Not as bad as like some of the other like lightning guys. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have worded out the fourth painter. <laughs> I needed all the hate cards if I could yeah, get it. I, I don't know. I think that matchup's gotta be pretty good for you.